What is going on everybody and welcome back to the Nobles TX YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by for another video and today I've got something really cool for us. So what you see in front of you is a Type 56M chest rig from ParachuteGear.com. Uh, ParachuteGear.com is a family owned veteran business out of California. They specialize in parachuting gear, hunting gear, and obviously AK chest rigs. So two of the AK chest rigs that really interest me was this Type 56 style and they have a chest rig that's four cell. This is a three cell. They have a four cell chest rig called the 81M, which is really cool. I like the 56 because it's a little bit lighter and they added a molly on the side, which is great for if you're trying to attach any of your, I don't care, IFAC, uh, first aid, maybe, maybe you're trying to put a radio or something on there. But I picked this up a couple weeks ago around Black Friday. Parachute Gear was having a great deal, and I've been uh, kind of playing around with it ever since. And I absolutely love this thing. I mean, talk about quality. Now, I do not have a Chinese chest rig to compare it to. Um, I was debating whether or not to get a Chinese rig, and I decided, you know what, I was just going to go ahead and spend a little extra dollars and get a custom-made rig made right here in the United States. So something cool about Parachuter Gear is they will customize these rigs for you. They offer two different options as far as your magazine pouch size. Currently, uh, this is the standard option, but they also offer a little larger pouch for your X-Tech tactical mags or your palm mags. Um, I'm not sure if that option is going to keep, keep being available because as I understand it, not a lot of people opt for the larger uh, mag pouches. They just go with the standard, which is fine. Um, I've found that all my mags fit very well in the uh, in the standard size, all my 30 rounders anyways. I've tried some of my larger polymer mags. I don't have any palms or x tech so I can't offer any advice on that, but for your typical mags, other than those, they all fit great. Let's go ahead and throw some uh, mags in here so you can see what it looks like. This rig is on a bungee system with buttons. These bungees can be adjusted. Uh, they're just simply tied in a knot. I have had a problem with this middle one. It came undone one time, um, but I've, like I said, I've been using this chest rig for a couple weeks now. All I had to do is tighten it up. For some reason, it's the only one that's giving me problems. It was a little bit loose right there, but you just tighten it up and you'll be all right. The bungee system is nice because it is adjustable. So that way, if you're running larger mags or you just want a looser, easier uh, way to deploy your little flap and get to your mag, you can do that. We'll just load up some different style of mags here. So this is our 30 round Bakelite mag and you can see it fits without too much hassle. And Here's a VZ58 mag. This is a 30 rounder. This mag fits, again, without too much hassle. I like to make sure my tabs are directly in front. Sometimes they'll wanna slide off to the side, and I've noticed when I'm doing my mag changes, I like to be able to easily find them. So a VZ58 mag fits, that's a plus because we all know that's a pretty large mag. All right, I ran and grabbed a steel mag real quick, 30 round steel mag. Not too bad. So, like I said, um, it was between this or the Chinese type 56 rig. And this really just grabbed my attention because I thought it was awesome. I mean, the construction on it is fantastic. It is a buckle type, comes with plenty of slack for you to determine your size or figure out where you like to wear it. I wear mine probably a little lower uh, than I should, but it's because sometimes with the weather right now, I just like to be able to throw a jacket on and throw it over my jacket, even though theoretically I could put it under my jacket because it's a very slim chest rig. Now I'm gonna flip it over real quick and we'll check out uh, the back. The back actually is fully Velcroed for a drop pouch of basically any size. Got a little dog hair on here. So I'm gonna rip this open real quick. And you can see here, you can throw anything you want to on the back side, and then just cover your drop pouch back up and run whatever you like to on the uh, 
bottom of your pouch or the bottom of your rig. There's not a whole lot of chest rig offerings out there for the AK platform. And the ones that are out there are super expensive. Um, I found this to be a pretty good price. It came in at about, I think somewhere around $120 or so, $130. But I think it's absolutely worth it. I mean, now that Chinese chest rigs are going, you know, $25, $30, man, just spend you, spend you a few more dollars, support a veteran-owned family business, and get you an awesome chest rig. Now, if you like uh, a whole lot of freedom and you are like nobles, I don't want to run 30 rounders, man. I got my RPK out today. Well, that's fine too. Let's go ahead and we'll throw some 40 round magazines in here. I've got a couple different 40 rounders we can test. So first I'll just throw in our steel 40 rounder. And then we'll throw in a baked 40 rounder. And last, we'll throw in a polymer Bulgarian 40 rounder. Now, as you see, they do fit. Um, the only, oh, excuse me, the only problem that you'd run into is closing it. Um, if you really wanted to, you could. But because these are 76239 mags and they have that drastic curvature to them, the flap probably would not look very good flipped over. So what I do when I'm running 40 round mags is I actually just fold the flaps. Let me get this in camera. I fold the flaps backwards and press them in between my chest um, and the rig when I'm just running the 40 rounders, which I found to be um, very easy to do. And I even do that sometimes with my 30 round mags just because it's not like I'm out there doing cartwheels. You know, I'm just, just planking. So yeah, all in all, this is a really nice offering. Uh, again, parachutegear.com, they'll hook you up. Uh, if you have any questions, what I did was I found them on Instagram, Parachuter, uh, Parachuter Gear, or it's at Parachuter Gear, and uh, they were really nice, answered all my questions. Uh, of course, I had some questions about what size uh, mags I could run or what size pouches they recommended. Again, I just went with the standard in the Multicam Black. It's a, a great looking pouch. I mean, this chest rig, what can I say? I love the way this stuff looks. Makes me happy on the inside. Construction is a thousand D Cordura, which is great. Man, look at that stitching though. I mean, these guys are professionals. All the way around this whole rig, you can see this box stitching. You have the steel, uh, I don't wanna call them D-rings, but basically D-rings, they might be called D-rings. Um, and I'm sure I'm forgetting some valuable information here. So if you wanna know more about them, again, check them out either on Instagram. You can see a lot of really cool photos over there. Checked out, check out their, uh, on Instagram, check out their little tag section, like who's tagged them in photos. And you can see a bunch of different rigs that guys uh, are running in the real world and you can see how they have their chest rigs set up. So, guys, I appreciate y'all stopping by today. If y'all like what y'all saw, hit that like button. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about this rig, feel free, ask me down in the comments. I try to respond to every good question. And um, if y'all aren't following Parachuter Gear on Instagram, y'all should do that. Um, this isn't a paid endorsement. I just think that they're really doing some cool stuff out there also if you're not following me on instagram it's at nobles tx but anyways if y'all want to see uh if y'all want to get your hands on some great deals shooting supplies y'all follow me over on facebook if you want to see some awesome photos y'all follow follow me over at uh on instagram again i appreciate y'all for stopping by y'all have a good one